Welcome back everybody. Well today, let's dig a ditch. I'd like to tell you I bought a new skid steer, but that's not the case. And the excavator, I like mine pretty well, so I'll keep it, but that would probably be an upgrade. But no, those belong to the contractor who's gonna dig a hole here where this white line is and put us a fiberglass pond in. Now, I'll tell you, I hate to admit that I'm putting one in, but Kristen won out on that one. So those guys are coming up here tomorrow and obviously they're gonna put a swimming pool in here, which we're putting a fiberglass swimming pool in. But I've got it set up to where there'll be four foot of concrete on this side of the swimming pool, which I've got a green line painted right here. But the one thing about this breezeway that, you know, I've, I've, I've thought through is obviously that's a pocket for water to sit. And I've got the same thing on the other side but I'm gonna have concrete here and a pool here in which they want that water to drain away. But obviously I've got my porch here. So there'll be a little sidewalk come out here and catch this four foot essentially sidewalk around this side of it. But they will pitch the concrete back in which I've got my porch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a French drain through here till I get beyond that concrete deck. Then I'll tie it back into a solid pipe and then we'll run it off the bank in which in the same trench, I've got to catch gutter water off of this building. I've got to catch it off of that little breezeway. And then obviously we've got this garage over here to catch it as well. So I'm gonna start back at the back. We'll put a little French drain in here to catch any water that hits in between the house and the garage. Then I'll come off and I'll catch a gutter downspout here. We'll bring that straight through here. And then I'll have a porch post set here. We'll catch a gutter here. And then we'll run a French drain and a gutter straight down through there and then we'll take it and run it off the bank. Like I said before, let's dig a ditch. Well, change of plans. I'm gonna follow it out to this corner and then I'm gonna go out here and then work my way back to this low spot and bring the water this way. That way I won't be so deep by the time I get out there to where I'd have to bring it to daylight. And we'll bring it back here and we'll bring it back over here, tie it into this French drain because I will have a sidewalk beside coming out of the door. So French drain here, tie into this one, gutter water tie into that gutter. I'll take it and run it that way. Be a shorter run to get it to daylight.
plan number three you can tell i've really got this stuff worked out ahead of time sort of planning as i go here but i'll show you what i'm going to do now all right this roof on the house i'm only going to catch half of it so i'll have a gutter come and catch this half a gutter on the other side and catch the other half so right up there toward the peak i'll let that little breezeway catch the house water come over here to a downspout we'll come down with a downspout there we'll catch this half of the garage we'll run it down right here six inch tile come out here and then i'll tie my french drain into that system so I'll be able to catch all this runoff water on the groundwater. We'll tie it into a six inch gutter system, run it out here and take it off a hill. All right, when I formed my porch, I laid plastic down under the edge. So that way my forms wouldn't stick with my concrete. So I've got this lip hanging over. So what I'm gonna do is let my plastic go back underneath it, come down and wrap into my ditch. It'll extend back underneath the concrete on the edge of the pool so any water that hits in here it'll be on a bed of plastic this will be filled with rock so any groundwater that hits should hit this plastic bed get to my trench work its way out of here now if i can just fight this wind get it laid down here we'll stick some pipe in All right, what I'm doing is I'm gonna essentially have every bit of this covered in plastic in here. I'll have French drain here, French drain over there and sidewalk that comes out. I'll set my pads for my pool equipment and then my heat pump will go back in the corner. But I'll take and put my drain tile in here, fill it up flush with level rock. And then once they set their pads level, then I'll come back with some kind of landscaping stone in here and put over that i don't want any kind of mulch or anything like that but then i'll have my sidewalk i'll dig a ditch over there and do the same thing but everything in here will be captured with plastic that way any water hits it's got to go to these drains and get it out of here versus pulling up in here and staying you know wet back in this hole well i got a pretty good load in the old texas pride but I just remembered it's been about a month since I charged this battery. So wish me luck. Come on, baby. Think she's going to do it. Tell the viewers about your YouTube channel. Oh, Brantley started him a YouTube channel. He got three deep videos right now, don't you? Yeah. Okay, he's he's a rising star. <clears throat> All right, Brantley, hold step right here. I'm just hold your foot on that, and I'm gonna put a couple of rocks against it. Pretty nice when you got an extra operator around. Boom back to you. Now 
now sprinkle them. Okay, raise it up. Can't hit that refrigeration line. Bring them on back here to the back now. Dump them all out. Dump them. Dump them. Dump them. Yeah, dump it out. Good. Good. Right back out. All right, that should do it. Any water that hits here should run back in the ditch. Any water that blows on the porch should come back to the ditch. Anything that lands on this side of the sidewalk back in this breezeway should hit the ditch and come out here. They'll set their equipment pads on top of my little ditch here, in which when we roll that plastic back, they can dig their line straight up to the front of the pad. Hook it up, we'll roll the plastic back out, dig another trench, tie it into this one. Catch the gutters, run it, take it off the hill. Well, I'm gonna roll some plastic back out of their way, but they'll be ready to dig a hole tomorrow. But video after this one, hopefully nothing changes. We'll have a hole out here and they'll put us a big pond in here and, and Brantley will have a place to check the action on her fishing baits. But if you watch this one, I appreciate it. Until next time, we'll see you later.